August 1818. Explorer Captain John Ross and his crew are three months into a perilous voyage through the icy waters of the Arctic. Captain John Ross is leading four ships through the Arctic Circle north of Greenland, and they're trying to find a passage to the Pacific. As Ross rounds Cape York in northwest Greenland, he and his crew spot something strange on the frozen coast. They're looking out over the Arctic, and there are these blood red streams going through the snow as far as the eye can see. It looks like the snow is covered with blood. It's like the ground is bleeding. A botanist suggests the sinister snow could be created by living creatures. The botanist's name was Robert Brown, and he proposed that there was some sort of biological cause that could turn the snow red. Decades later, evidence emerges to support Brown's theory. Scientists re-examine Ross's samples and discover traces of tiny life forms. Sure enough, when examining some samples with a microscope, scientists were able to confirm that indeed what they were looking at was causing this red color was reddish colored microbial algae. The life forms are called Chlamydomonas nivalis. Tests indicate that sunlight transforms their color from green to red. The algae have a red pigment called a carotenoid, and it takes in ultraviolet light and starts to turn a red color. It's a big discovery for the scientific community because for the first time, we're seeing a life form that is literally living off of ice. The discovery that Captain Ross's red Arctic snow was created by living creatures stuns the scientific world. And further research reveals these life forms could be the doom of mankind. The reason that tiny little algae could pose such a hazard to the Earth is they make the snow darker. And the darker the snow, the more sunlight it absorbs, and the hotter it gets, and the more it melts. You can think of it sort of like putting on a darker t-shirt versus a lighter one. You feel a lot warmer, and that's what's going on with the snow. Scientists fear this process will lead to a deadly chain reaction. The more meltwater the life forms create, the more they will thrive. And the more they thrive, the faster sea levels will rise.